want to say, I want to just say something. Stephen A, I, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I mean no offense to you, and I mean no offense to First Take, because I think this show is extremely valuable. It is an honor to be on this desk every day. It really is. But what we've just witnessed is the problem with this show, where we create narratives that do not exist in reality. The implication, what you are implying, that the white voters that vote on NBA are racist, that are, they, they favor white people. You I just not, said that. You ju- not, yes, you did. I yes, did you did. Not, I did. Yes, you did. That I is did exactly not, what you implied, not, Kendrick Perkins. Not, that is exactly not, what you implied. I, I Secondly, not, hold on, did, hold on. I did not call. I stated the facts. I stated the facts. And you're not about to sit up We all know like what you implied the other day. We all know what you implied just now. Hold on. I stated the facts. One at a time. It's the facts. It's the facts. It's the facts. Okay. JJ, I need to know. Is it Uchiwali? Or is it one mic? I need to know when it comes down to the criteria moving the goalposts for the MVPs because I understand you're in the analytics. I understand you're a historian of the game of basketball. But I went and did a little research myself. And since 1990, there's only been three MVPs that wasn't top 10 in scoring that won that award. Dirk Nowinski, Steve Nash, and Jokic. Now, what all, what do they have in common? I'll let it sit there and marinate. I'm just trying to see, you know what I'm saying, when I'm walking into the club, do I need my J's on or is it a dress code? Do I need to put another pair, you know, a shirt shoes or some red bottoms? Or I need to know, is it Uchi Wale or is it one mic? Like, what's the criteria when moving the goalposts for certain players to win the MVP? I need to know. Because it seems like the goalposts move every single time when we want.